Hello everyone, Callan here. Welcome back to my channel. Pack your bags, sun's out. Even though it's only like 58 degrees over here at my time of writing this episode, we're gonna go on a vacay to Bone Town in today's Hell of a Boss Flashbacks, episode three. Blitz can't remember lyrics very well, but hey, he can still rock out. Tex is not only Verasica's bodyguard, but also seems to be the one who drives her around. Clown megaphone. Blitz states that the nearest ocean is three rings down, which means the third ring of hell is Envy, where Lephiathan rules. Verasica mentions Amber Alerts. Verasica was in rehab, but got out because she was famous. Money talks, after all. She also has Beelzejuice, which is a reference to Beelzebub, Avatar of Gluttony. This implies that Beelzejuice may be much more addictive than normal booze. Blitz's sister is in rehab. IMP has a singular parking space, and Blitz isn't willing to park anywhere else. This implies that either he's just being petty with Verasica because of their past, or there's literally nowhere else to park that's close enough of a walk to their workplace. Or both. This. You gonna run off, leaving someone else to pay for the hotel room, steal their car, and run, run three, three rings, rings to rap, and max, max my credit cards on, on shitty, shitty horse, horse riding, riding lessons? lessons? God damn it, whore, you will not let that go! Luna knows who Verasica is, and from the way she acts, might listen to her music. Verasica says, Unlike you, he actually does his job well. Which implies that Blitz was previously her bodyguard. Blitz isn't willing to get into his past with Verasica. The instant they ask, he claims to not pry into their lives, when they does literally all the time. Deflection. Moxie wants to know what sex with Michael Crawford is like. Luna isn't willing to publicly call Blitz dad. Puppy love. Moxie exudes mass theater kid vibes. Moxie only denies kissing the guy in Verasica's crew because he's married. This. Moxie, don't let her access any of your holes. Blitz isn't good under pressure. Still can't see what Verasica's tattoo says. Let's zoom in during the editing and see if we can see it. In the selfie with her on Blitz's phone, Verasica's tattoo doesn't have the X over it just yet, which may imply that the X has to do with how their relationship went down. Blitz is bad at planning. Potential horse names. Viv and the team call out the fans on drooling over Luna. Spring break is no place for young, vulnerable goth girls. You know the kind of freaks up there who drool all over you. We can see the Imp Twins poster behind Luna and see that Tilla has been removed since the pilot episode. There's also a picture of a horse that we can barely see and a cute selfie that Blitz took of himself and Luna. A single flyer works. There are six imps in line to get revenge on humans, even though theoretically, as all imps are hellborn, they don't know anyone in the human world to take revenge on. Most of these are cameos of the imps owners of artists who helped work on the show. Travis from the pilot of Hell of a Boss and the addicted music video is along the crowd as well. Luna has a human form. Luna can sniff a list and use some sort of hellhound vision to track people? Everyone they need to get revenge on is conveniently all in the same event. Verasica is not only a huge star in hell, but also in the human world. So does she have a fake human identification and a social security number and all that jazz? Or... This song is a bop. All of the little hearts around Verasica and her crew indicate that they're actively using their succubus powers to lure in all of the humans. Luna is immune. Beelzejuice can apparently turn non-demons into monsters. Tex is the most chill guy ever. Blitz states that conversation leads to HPV, which is human papillomavirus. Can hellhounds even get that? Moxie and Millie go on a murdering spree without the list. This never gets resolved. Oh, what does it matter? You're not my real dad. I was almost 18. It still counts. Well, it shouldn't. I didn't need you then, asshole. I don't now. And then Luna says, He'll get over it. He always does. Implying that she said things like that to him before. Yet another instance of Blitz feeling unloved. Deflection. Enjoy your break, Looney. I'm gonna go kill something. Humans are too stupid to know a demon when they see one. Even though Moxie was stuck in a full container of beer, when Millie tips it over, it looks almost full. There's no way he was in there for more than maybe five minutes before she found him, aka Moxie is a lightweight. This guy is still trying to drink while Blitz is choking him to death. With a dog collar? Blitz, what the fuck? Millie is the most badass demon on Blitz's team. Sea cream. Dagon juice. Rather than keeping the evidence that it was Verasica's Beelze juice that caused the giant monster attack, Millie for some reason throws it back at her while still attempting to blackmail her. This works, somehow. Moxie says, oh Satan, instead of oh Lucifer. As far as we know, Lucifer is the ruler of the Pride Ring, Avatar of Pride, and overall king of hell. According to actual mythology, Satan is actually a different being and is the Avatar of Wrath. So there's a chance that Moxie is saying it because Satan is the one who ruled over his home ring, or because it was just the first thing the writers thought to have him say. 
Tex has a girlfriend, but still manages to maintain fully healthy relationships with other women. Luna takes the rejection well, and as we saw in episode 7, that friendship seems to be maintained. Blitz is a whole mood. This cutie has a tattoo on her leg of a snake and an apple, which are symbols of Lucifer. Whew, this script wasn't as long as the one for episode 2, but that's admittedly because there isn't quite as much stuff hidden in the background of the human world as there is in the demon world. The setting was also relatively small in comparison to the last episode, which took place not only in Stolas' house, but at an entire theme park. On to the next one! I'll see you all in the next mess. Later, gators!